Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my vlog, vehicular log. Oh man, I swear, I feel great. Uh, I was actually <laughs> uh, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little lightheaded right now. Just got done with a leg workout. Still nothing, uh, nothing too heavy. I did, uh, I did, I did some squats today. I did, I only did 135 pounds. Just focusing on my form, going real deep. Making sure I get a good range of motion. Oh man, it's nothing too heavy, but of course, it's been so long since I've worked out that it was a little heavy. But nothing unbearable though. And then I did uh did some machines, leg curls, uh, leg extensions. I did the uh, abductor and adductor machines again. I'm trying to keep up keep up with it, you know. I had, a, I had my math test today. I did pretty good on it. I got a, I didn't ace it. Well, I mean, I, I didn't get a hundred on it, but I got, I got 90 something on it. You know? My problem is that I rushed through it. We had 50 minutes to, to do it. And I finished and under 20 and then I actually went back and checked my work but I was still I guess I was still rushing and I overlooked a couple a couple mistakes so that counted against me and then when I saw what I got wrong I was I was kicking myself stupid no I didn't say that everybody makes mistakes but I mean I hate making mistakes I just gotta take my time, I guess. So, uh, oh, I got a haircut. I don't know if y'all noticed. So much better, man. My hair was so thick. My hair grows fast and thick. I hate that. The uh, the last episode I uploaded, I uh, I, I edited it down. And I cut out a bunch of the, uh, the quiet parts. There, there was a good bit of quiet parts because I was I was messing with my GPS the whole time. Whew, so kind of wasn't really uh, talking out that much. Man, I'm ready for a nap. Mm, I've got. I've got one test left for my business class, and it's online, so it's it's due by Sunday, I think. Yeah, Sunday. And then I'll be done with that. And I'm hoping I'm hoping my grade is. I should have I should have at least a B. I'm hoping I have at least at least a B, but. Our group project, I think it's going to screw me over. Plus, I've, uh, like we have a lot of discussion assignments, and I've, and they're only worth like four points for each discussion, and I've got the full amount of all of those. And then, uh, there was a, what was that? There was a 25 point assignment. For, uh, to like create a LinkedIn profile. I did that, I got full credit. And yeah, and each test is 100, which I've gotten 96 or 98 on the first one. Second one, I didn't do so well. I got an 86. And uh, I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was tired. 
I was pissed off because my laptop was messing up. I couldn't even get it turned on. I had to go get it fixed. I fixed it myself, but I didn't want to void the warranty while opening it up. But, whatever. Yeah, so I didn't do so well on that one. And then we have one more uh, 100 point test. Which, I definitely need to study more. I, uh, cause I've been focusing on my math right now. My teacher sucks. Gosh, she sucks. She doesn't suck, but you can't hear her or understand her. She talks low and she has a really bad accent. I don't know where she's from, but it's bad, it's thick. So, uh, like, I've just been been having to teach myself pretty much. I mean, a lot. I get what she's saying during class, but I usually I usually work ahead a little bit just because that's the way I want to do it. I like teaching myself, man. You feel you feel a lot more accomplished when you figure it out on your own. But uh, I mean, it's, it's that and plus I'm having to refresh myself on a lot of stuff. It's just taking me, it takes, it takes more time, but it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, what I do is if I'm working a problem and then I'm like, crap, I forgot how to do this. I'll just, I'll look it up over like YouTube like uh, interval notations. It's simple stuff, but I, I, it's been so long since I've done it, I've forgotten all about it. So I just looked it up on YouTube to figure out how to do it again. I'm like, oh yeah. And then, uh, mm, no, I'm not gonna get over it. There's traffic right here anyway, you're not going anywhere. Uh, knees hurting a little bit. Man, I, oh, I feel so good to start doing squats again. Even though my knee hurts a little bit. <laughs> Just because it's not used to it. Oh. The calf over here is pretty good too. We got a, uh, I mean, there's like, yeah, there's three bars. Actually, there's four bars. And then there's something different in each one. Their pizza sucks. I don't know, it just tastes... How, I, how can I describe it? It tastes... I guess it's just like a block of hard grease. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's not good though. It doesn't even taste like pizza. But the rest of the stuff they good. They got... It's good. Uh, I hate when I do that. Uh, they've got a sandwich bar. It's pretty nice. Or you can get wraps, whatever you want. And they got a pizza bar. They've got uh, they got another bar that has it's different stuff every day. Like they had spaghetti the other day. Today they had Salisbury steak, which is okay. And then a bunch of different beans and rice and then there was there's was another bar but I didn't see what was on it I didn't get a good look at I just I glanced at it and it wasn't it didn't look like anything that tickled my fancy so I didn't even bother going to it and then I got a salad bar which I hit up that salad bar every time and uh, they've got They've got fruit in there too. I like I like that because I like to have bananas. It keeps me from having to buy bananas. But I can just go in there and you know, take something there. They have apples too, but apples are uh, their apples are really small and they don't taste too great. They're kind of I don't know. They just don't have a lot of flavor to them. Not a good flavor anyway. Uh, yeah, 
hoping I'll do hoping I do pretty good in my business class because I'm hoping I get at least a B. I know I made a B on my second test, so I think that brought me down to a B probably. And then everything else I've been doing good on. And hopefully this this last test I'll hopefully I'll rock that shit. Knock it out of the park. Cause I'm gonna need it. Cause we just just turned in the group project. I say group project. I hate doing group projects. I hate it. Cause nobody wants to fucking do anything. I'm trying to stop cussing so much. I've noticed I noticed in all the other episodes that what is that? roles that we had to fill doing the project. There was a leader, you know, that keeps everybody on track and gets in, you know, does the meetings and yada, yada, yada. Uh, recorder that takes notes during meetings and would be the actual person to write the paper. Uh, researcher, which gets the information that we need for the paper. And, uh, what was the other one? Editor. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. The editor would be the one to, once the paper's written, you know, they would look it over, make sure there was no errors, and then they would be the one to turn it in. Well, only one other freaking person actually helped out. Like, we were, we were a few weeks into the class, and nobody even mentioned the group project yet. So... I said, okay, I, I guess I'll volunteer to be a leader. And I, uh, I got everybody to get their, select their roles. We had an editor, we had researchers. Ugh. We ended up with two researchers and then we were gonna have one recorder. But we ended up with one researcher slash recorder, and I was leader slash uh, researcher. Freaking retarded. And then this one guy never even said hello to the group for the entire class. And then the week, like near the end of the week, right before the paper was due, he just pops on there all and says, oh, I'm sorry, I've been learning the new system, blah, 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 which it's easy as, it's freaking easy. I'm trying, I'm trying not to cuss. I cuss too much. Uh, but he's like, yeah, I've been trying to learn a new system. He's like, what do I need to do? And then he just starts throwing up there, throwing up a bunch of research when the paper is already in the process of being written. Like we already had everything and she's writing the paper. And he's like, oh, just, Throwing up research, babe. research uh, articles and crap like that. <sighs> Pissed me off, man. I hate that. And then we were supposed to do a peer evaluation form as a group. We're supposed to come together as a group and then evaluate each other and you know decide what kind of grade they need. Which, in my opinion, only one other fucking person, only one other person would actually you know, actually deserves grade. And that's the one who wrote it and researched it. I mean, how many, like this, the site that we're doing all this on, it has, holy crap. Ooh, look at all that crap. Looks 
like, uh, dang, that looks like the wheel well of a truck or something. Okay, he's pulling. Oh, yeah, you're losing a bunch of stuff. He must have blew a tire. Man, he's throwing up all kinds of stuff. Let me see. Oh, yeah. His truck didn't blow a tire. The, uh, what the hell was that? Whatever he's carrying, whatever he's hauling, it blew a, blew a tire. But, uh, sinuses isn't bothering me. You can probably tell I'm, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'm a little stuffed up, a little congested. My sinus is swelled and I can't freaking breathe. I hate that crap. I use some, I use some like gel nose spray that works wonders. Both sides and 12 hours of relief. I usually have it with me at all times, but I didn't bring it with me today. I forgot it. But I mean, I have to have it with me because my nose can stop. I can't, I can't breathe. I don't even want to talk to anybody because I'm just like, Ugh. I don't want to be a mouth breather. So we didn't even turn the freaking pure eval sheet in. Didn't even freaking do it. I've held three class meetings, or three group conference meetings, because there's you can do a group conference over the over the website. And i I gave them plenty of notice, like several days notice, hey we're gonna have a group conference this day at this time. If you can't make it that time, let me know. And we can work around that. No, nope. didn't hear anything. And then the first group conference uh, sat there. I left it up for an hour. Sat there for almost an hour. It's like a little over half an hour. And then somebody finally showed up. The the one person who actually deserves some credit for the course. Uh, the second time, she was the only one who showed up again. And then the third time, nobody showed up. And that was for the peer, peer eval sheet. Pissed me off, man. I hate group projects. I hate relying on other people to get my grade. Because I want a good grade but I can't get a good grade when I've got these fucking idiots who don't give a shit. Like they're probably just, that was probably just an elective class for them or some crap like that. I hate that. Whatever, whatever though. Like I said, I should make a B, hopefully make a B. I don't know how much she's gonna count, all, count off for us not turning in the peer eval because it was supposed to be turned in with the group project, but nobody even, nobody even acknowledged the peer eval, except for the, the one person that deserves credit. And she didn't even show up for the, for the conference. If they were my employees, every one of them would be fired. She would, she would get warnings just because she was late to everything. But, whatever. But she's, she deserves a lot of credit though because she, she took on the recorder role too. Because she started out as just a researcher. And, uh, like I talked to her and I did some research, you know, to get some more information that we needed. And she agreed to write it because uh, I'm not the best at, at writing a paper. Now you get me some, some Adderall or some Vyvanse and I'll knock that paper out in no time. In no time. Because it was a six page paper. And if I'm, if I'm not on something, like, I can't even write half a paper, like half a page. So 
I just, I can't, I can't focus on it. But yeah, hopefully I get a B. And then in this math class, I, I got an A. For now, anyway. Ugh, as long as I don't slack off, which I'm not gonna slack off. Dude, math is fun. I might, I might be laughing about that, but math is fun. It's like, it's like solving a puzzle. I mean, because in math, I mean, it all follows set rules. And you can't go outside of those rules or anything. So, I don't know. I just, I like it. I get, I get excited. Like, I'll, I'll be working. I love, I love the formulas and stuff that take like a whole page to solve. Like I just bought a brand new notebook and within two days I've used like that much that much paper. Just oh there's working out problems man. There's just stuff all in there. So it's amazing. But uh I feel good. Like each step that I get closer to the answer I'm just like hee hee I'm all giddy and my old school girl. <laughs> Peter Griffin. <laughs> I've been oh, I've been uh I've been doing that mindfulness. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked about that and Maybe the first, maybe the first vlog I, I mentioned that because uh, I had that book on uh, making habits, breaking habits, and it teaches about mindfulness. So I've been practicing that, and uh, man, when you do that, you you're really aware of time that you're wasting because. Uh, Even brushing my teeth, I've uh, usually when I brush my teeth, I just I zone out because I mean I do that a lot. I zone out and I just I just love to think about stuff, man. I think about everything. Think about uh, how stuff fits in you know whatever whatever wherever it's at. How to make things better, how to replace something with something else, or I'll just, what if questions, man? What if the world were this way? What if the world were that way? What if, what if the timeline had been changed and, you know, like a war had come out differently, you know, how would things be different? I don't know if y'all, I'm sure y'all have heard on the news about Iraq. So it, it looks like we're about to go to back to Iraq for another war. Freaking stupid. Shouldn't have even been there in the first place. You go in there for weapons of mass destruction that they didn't even freaking have. And you destabilize the country. And uh man they had like well, I keep I keep mixing up the Shiites and the uh, what are they, Sunni Sunni Sunnis and Shiites? Yeah, I think that's what they are. I keep mixing them up, so I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna try to name them, but uh, the ones that were in power, I guess you could say, they have thirty thousand troops, armed troops. And then militia comes in there with 800 people and the 30,000 just throw down their guns and take off. What a joke. What a freaking joke. How much money did we waste going over there, destroying stuff, killing people, losing our own people, 
and then throwing money at them, getting them equipped, training their soldiers, and then their soldiers are gonna be like, oh, fuck this, I'm out. Just take off running, so stupid. Man, we should not have gone over there to begin with. And y'all may think I'm a conspiracy nut or, or something, but 9-11 was an inside job. That, because Bush and Cheney and him, they wanted to go over to Iraq. Nobody wanted to go. Nobody wanted to go. All Americans were against war. They're like, nah, we don't want to go to another war. So, like stage 9-11, and then repeatedly, repeatedly, on every media outlet, they were like, hey, terrorists did this. Terrorists, Iraq, Al-Qaeda, blah, 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 blah. And they just repeated over and over and over, and it brainwashes everybody to think, oh man, Iraq did this. The terrorists from Iraq did this. That's what everybody thinks, because that's what they're hearing on the news. Yeah, I wonder. Thought about going on out, out there. Mm. But yep. That was their excuse. They're like, hey, y'all see this? We gotta go get them. Uh huh. What I see is explosions before the plane even hit. Stories from the people who were inside the building and said there was an explosion below them. When the plane hit above them, and the explosion happened before the plane even hit. And then if you watch videos, okay, you're good. If you watch the videos of the plane crashing into the building, before the plane, like just before the plane touches the building, you see the molten metal coming out of the building. demolition style and it was perfect demolition too because it's straight down just the way they wanted it whatever mm -hmm. yeah I know y'all think I'm a conspiracy now whatever 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 do what I want oh man I am ready Ooh. I might I might sit in an Epsom salt bath to relax my muscles. Epsom salt, that's that stuff. It's the shit. I'll wait for you. It's a nice paint job on that car. I think they're an Alabama fan. Yeah, I've been using that mindfulness, and then the book I'm well, the audio book that I'm I'm listening to now, uh, the Charisma Myth. I've been I've been putting that into practice because I'm I've always been an introvert. I'm a big time introvert. I hate going to parties. There's just too many people. I don't like big crowds, and. Uh, quiet unless unless I unless I know you if, if I know you and we've hung out you know pretty good bit and I've gotten comfortable with you I'm not I'm not quiet I'll I'll have you laughing I'll have you laughing constantly man if I can crack some jokes but uh big crowds new people I and mean, I'm a little iffy but uh I've been listening to that that audio book and it gives some tips on charisma you know body language and stuff like that and I've been practicing it I think it's I mean I f you feel great I mean you just you, you take the steps and it, it changes like if you if you give if you give a uh, like an alpha uh, if you spread out, you can take out, take up a lot of space. It brings up your confidence because you feel you feel more dominant. 
it gives you a little bit of dominant feeling, you know. And then it talks like it's got steps for anxiety and stuff like that. Uh, like close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, visualize clean air coming in, revitalizing air, and then breathe out through your mouth and feel it wash over your whole body. Just like with you meditate. You know, if you meditate, great. I meditate. It is amazing. I think everybody should meditate. If you got anger problems, anxiety problems, any problem, meditate. Meditate. And you will feel amazing. It will it will definitely take a ton of pressure off of you. Just do that once. Maybe twice. And and feel the difference. Just doing it that that little bit. Just do it. And you'll feel amazing. What the hell is that? I think it was like a giant teddy bear in the backyard. But uh the saying. Oh yeah, blah 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 blah. Taking deep breaths. And you let your body relax. Be mindful of where the tension is in your body. You know, you know where the tension is. You can, you can feel it. Stretch that a little bit. Get that tension out, and then, with your eyes closed, visualize all of the stuff that's bothering you. Maybe deadlines, money issues, family issues, whatever it is. Visualize all of it right there on your shoulders, and then, whatever higher power you uh, you look up to or worship or whatever visualize that higher power just picking all of it up off of your shoulders and then destroying it and it makes a difference like you, as soon as you, as soon as you do it that first time your shoulders are just gonna drop down and you're gonna feel so much lighter you're like holy crap that is awesome but uh i'm home so that's gonna do it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed and i look forward to seeing you next time see you later